2.5 the quadratic formula. Equations in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c can be solved using the quadratic formula, which is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. This is not in the core one formula sheet and so it must be memorised. Let's do some examples. Example 1. x squared plus 7x plus 5. First we need to identify a, b and c. So a equals 1, b equals 7 and c equals 5. Now the quadratic formula, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. We now need to substitute those numbers in. So we substitute a is 1, b is 7 and c is 5. Now we do the calculations. 7 squared gives me 49, 4 times 1 times 5 gives me 20, and 2 times 1 gives me 2. 49 divided by tw 49 minus 20 is 29, so now x equals minus 7 plus or minus the square root of 29 divided by 2. These two solutions are x equals minus 7 plus the square root of 29 divided by 2, or x equals minus 7 minus the square root of 29 divided by 2. Example 2. 3x squared plus 10x minus 2. First we identify a, b and c. So a equals 3, b equals 10 and c equals minus 2. Taking the quadratic formula, we now substitute those values in. So we have a is equal to 3, b is equal to 10 and c is equal to minus 2. Let's do the calculations. So 10 squared is 100. And 4 times 3 times minus 2 is minus 24. And you need to remember that minus. 100 minus minus 24 gives me 124. So x equals minus 10 plus or minus the square root of 124 divided by 6. It's tempting at this time because they're all even to cancel. But you can't cancel certainty and manipulate them. So we're going to look for a square factor. 124 is 4 times 31. We know from manipulating SIRS that the square root of 124 can be written as the square root of 4 times the square root of 31. The square root of 4 is 2, so we can write this as 2 the square root of 31. Now we can simplify. Taking out a factor of 2, minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 31 divided by 3. That gives us two solutions of x equals minus 5 plus the square root of 31 divided by 3, or x equals minus 5 minus the square root of 31 divided by 3. Question 3. First of all, we need to rearrange it into the right format. So 4x squared minus 9x minus 3 equals 0. Now identify a, b and c. So a equals 4, b equals minus 9, and c equals minus 3. Taking the formula, we're going to substitute in these values. You need to be careful because b is a negative number and c is a negative number. So we have minus minus 9 plus or minus the square root of minus 9 squared minus 4 times 3 times minus 3 times 2 times 4. Minus minus 9 gives us positive 9. Minus 9 squared is 81. 4 times 4 times minus 3 is minus 48, and 2 times 4 is 8. 81 minus minus 48 gives me 129. So x equals 9 plus or minus the square root of 129 divided by 8. 129 has no square factors, so we have two solutions. x equals 9 plus the square root of 129 divided by 8, or x equals 9 minus the square root of 129 divided by 8.